hello everyone and i welcome you to my video class on concrete technology and uh, today we are mainly discussing about high performance concrete right and its short form it is also called as hpc right so myself vishwanath outi and we will see that today's content we are mainly discussing about introduction part of hpc high performance concrete and different uh, materials which are used for preparation of high performance concrete then behavior of hpc in a fresh condition next behavior of uh, hard, uh, hpc in a hardened conditions and in upcoming video right a uh, video 2 of high performance concrete we are discussing about advantages limitations and applications of hpc so now we will go for right what do you mean by high performance concrete so high performance concrete is a concrete mixture which possesses high durability so which possesses high durability and high strength high strength comparatively with the conventional concrete if you see the normal concrete it has a high strength and high durability and even it has a many features like high strength smooth fracture surface low permeability value smooth fracture surface low permeability value and discontinuous pore discontinuous pore with comparatively the normal concrete this is due to low water to cementious material low water to cementious material ratio and presence of cementious material and chemical admixtures so actually we are now we are like no we studied low water cement ratio right so but in this we are using some of the cement replacement materials and those cement replacement materials are called as cementious materials so that's what now we are using water to cementious material so now in this concrete we have a low water to cementious ratio right and why because of presence of cementious material as well as like no chemical admixtures chemical admixtures means super plasticizers right we know what you mean by super plasticizers which are reducing the uh, requirement of the water and then we have a retarders right so retarders help us to make the uh, like no uh, reduction of uh, initial hydrations and even air entertaining agents so due to this we are getting a low water to cementious ratio and good workability next high performance concrete works out economical so works out economical means it requires the less to overall investment so overall why i use the overall investment why because investment is required for construction as well as investment is required for maintenance so here investment for construction is little higher than the normal concrete but it required less investment for the maintenance like a repair right repair and some other works right it require less maintenance cost that's what it is called as works out economical means good condition right and and you can see this in the figure like how complicated structures are there to construct these kind of structures is required like no very workable concrete so to make like this very complicated structure we can make this kind of structure with the help of high performance concrete because it can takes any shape we are required and and it gives the very good aesthetical conditions so next we are will study what are the different materials used for to prepare the high performance concrete right so same as how we are preparing normal concrete or traditional concrete or conventional concrete similarly we are using the same materials almost but little changes about the some of the materials right so now we will see one by one right one is water right so water is an important ingredient of concrete as it actively participate in chemical reaction with the cement so water we are using to mainly to mix the all, uh, different ingredients which are using for concrete preparation as well as it takes the main role in a chemical reactions or active chemical reaction in a, a con uh, in a in a with the cement as well as in the paste so that's what so you want water quality is very important so you want water standards are there to use for construction we cannot use all type of water it has some standards and within standards only we have to use and generally we have to use clean water fresh water and free from the contaminations free from the contaminations 
so next uh, cement right cement is one of the binding material we are not completely avoiding the cement we are using the cement but percentage is less and this can be replaced with the cementious materials that is mineral admixtures right so here physical and chemical characteristics of cement play vital role in developing strength and rheology so here chemical properties of the cement physical property of the cement takes the main role in a developmental development of the strength development of the strength and durability of the concrete so that's what we have to take care about it and for high performance concrete so here suggested is what low ca low c3a concrete is best right so here it is preferable cement is what low c3a concrete c3a cement it is good because it has it gives the good rheology so next is fine aggregate so we require aggregate so in that aggregate fine aggregate right so fine aggregate for high performance concrete it is both our user like no even natural sand also used and artificially prepared sand also used so natural sand means what river sand red sand or other river sand based on the geology or based on the topographic area we are getting different colors of the river sand some places we are getting red sand some places we are getting gray sand right so here for high performance concrete it's not mandatory that we have to use the river sand only even we can use the m sand which are prepared or which are prepared in a stone quarry or crushed stone fine aggregate we can see here it is fine aggregate of natural a river sand and m sand right so next we'll go for coarse aggregate so coarse aggregate is also very important and it takes the main like no actually if you see the coarse aggregate is the strongest it is a strongest and a least porous material least porous component of concrete and selection of coarse aggregate is crucial crushed rock aggregate are preferable so for high performance concrete if you see coarse aggregate takes the main role and due to the main role we have to take care about it it takes the main importance why because it is a strongest part and even it is a least porous material and it gives the main part right so here if you want to use uh, preferable is suggested is crushed rock aggregate crushed rock aggregate are preferable next we'll go for chemical admixtures so chemical admixtures are the essential ingredients in the concrete mix right essential ingredient for high performance concrete i'll tell you why it is very essential ingredient for the concrete mix right so they increase the efficiency of the cement paste it increases the efficiency of the cement paste by improving the workability of the mix even it increases the efficiency as well as the workability of the mix right so then now what kind of different chemical admixtures we are using we are using plasticizers we are using super plasticizers even we are using retarders and air entertaining agents right so plasticizers and super plasticizers mainly we are using to reduce the requirement of the water in the concrete right and to maintain the low water cement ratio or low water to cementious ratio and next we are using retarders so retarders we are using to reduce the initial rate of hydration or initial setting time right so next we are using air entertaining agents so air entertaining agents we are using to mainly to produce air bubbles right air bubbles we, we have to produce and why because it makes the some importance and it gives the placing and it gives the good uh, workability so that's what air entertaining agents will use to create the air bubbles you can see here it is these are the chemicals which are used right here chem uh, chemical admixtures next we are using mineral admixtures even it is also called cementious material or additive or replacement to the cement materials so here uh, rapid catalyst used for rapid catalyst to gain the earliest strength so mainly it is used as a catalyst like no silica fume so silica fume mainly used to make the rapid catalyst in the concrete or reactions right to get the early age strength but even we are using fly ash right so if we see the sum of the mineral admixtures 
fly ash so we studied what you mean by fly ash right it is what one of the by product of thermal power plant so in thermal power plant they are using coal right to as a fuel to heat the water after heating the water they will generate the steam and from the steam they make rotation or turbine right so after burning huge coal they, we are getting finally we are getting ash so that kind of ash is called as a fly ash so now here it has a disposal problem right it is one problem if you see the problem of one fly ash is uh, it is disposal problem because it considered as one of the solid waste earlier and even in a construction we required a cement so cement has a sum of the it cement is not economic eco friendly so it has the emission of carbon dioxide and as well as the heat of heat so even we are reducing the content requirement of the cement as well as even we are solving the problem of solid waste so uh, fly ash we are using next we are using ggbs granulated right ggbs ground granulated blast furnace slag so in short it is called as a ggbs so ggbs is one of the by product or waste which is generated from the steel manufacturing all steel manufacturing right so even here same it has a disposal problem even reducing the disposal problem and we are making economical as well as less cost of the concrete and next we are using as i told silica fume silica fume is also one of the by product of silica metals and carbon block powder so you can see in the images it is what ggbs and fly ash right silica fume correct so next we will go for behavior of fresh high performance concrete so what is what are the behavior of high performance concrete in a fresh condition right so one is workability so we know workability is very important for the strength of the concrete right initially in a fresh condition workability of high performance concrete is normally good normally good uh, even at a low slump even at a low slump values and high performance concrete typically pumps very well so pumping capacity and due to cementious material again due, mainly it is due to cementious material and the presence of chemical admixtures so due to the presence of chemical admixtures as well as the cementious material so due to this only it is as a different from the normal concrete and it has a very good pumping capacity as well as it has a good workability <coughs> HPC has a has been successfully pumped up to 80 story building so you can pump up to 80 story building but we have to take care of in between the like no stable like no some conditions and even we can go for higher than that also right so ability to fill it is mainly because of ability to fill the heavy reinforced sections it is ability to fill heavy reinforced section without internal and or external vibrations so it is like no self compacting concrete a similar property of self compacting concrete and it has the ability to fill the heavy reinforced section without internal as well as external vibrations next without segregation it makes the without segregations without developing large size of voids so that's what it has a good workability next setting time setting time can vary dramatically depending on applications and the presence of setting modifying admixtures and percentage of faced composed of portland cement so here setting time of the fresh concrete it mainly depends on the use of chemical admixtures as well as the normal cement or portland cement so here the use of large quantity of water reducing admixtures like um, you know retarders right chemical admixtures right uh, chemical admixtures in that retarders can signify extend setting time they can extend significantly setting time and mainly here dosage of dosage dosage to be monitored closely with the mixture containing substantial quantity of mineral admixtures so actually when you are adding yeah, like no uh, retarders we have to add with the uh, very carefully with comparative with uh, some other additive materials additive materials are mineral admixtures and even with that because excess amount of chemical admixtures is also dangerous so we have to take care about it and mainly setting time is mainly depends on the 
use of uh, chemical admixtures and even use of mineral admixtures and mainly it is because of chemical admixtures of retarders so next is behavior of hardened concrete of high performance concrete so we'll study now what kind of behaviors are there of high performance concrete in a hardened state so first one is strength of the concrete the strength of the concrete depends on number of factors so it is not only one factor it depends on the many factors including properties proportions of the constituent materials degree of hydration rate of loading method of testing and specimen uh, geometry right so here strength of the concrete we are not testing on the site right many time many places we are testing in the form of cube right so here when we are testing the cube even we have to take care about it why because specimen geometry and method of testing it is very important and even rate of loading right so that's what it depends on the many factors and i'll repeat again it mainly depends on the properties of the materials proportion of the materials degree of hydration rate of loading method of testing and specimen geometry so now we'll see mainly about comprehensive strength why because concrete is good in a comprehensive strength right so maximum practical achievable maximum practical achievable compression strength have been increased st steadily over a year so now because of the innovations like a different concrete so now we are increasing the concrete strength right so here for 28 days strength we are getting up to 80 mpa for 20 days of uh, uh, days of curing and we're getting in 80 mpa and even we're getting higher compressive strength of 90 days if you see the 90 days of testing even we are getting up to in some places they made test and they made research even they are getting high performance concrete strength up to 130 mpa 130 mpa very huge right and even for the future they identified they may get up to 140 mpa even they can get up to 140 mpa because of this only it is called as a high performance concrete is good in strength as well as the performance future concrete next is tensile strength as we know tensile strength of the concrete is low but if you see if you take the total in a hardened condition hardened condition means what it has a reinforcement right so that's what we have to take with the reinforcement in hardened conditions the tensile strength governs the cracking behaviors see the cracking behaviors of the concrete and affect other properties such as stiffness damping actions bond to embedded to steel and durability of the concrete so here tensile strength of the hardened concrete it depends on the mainly about the dampness or dampness action stiffness bond between bonding between the concrete and steel durability of the concrete right so next we'll go for durability so durability the uh, the most important property of high performance concrete so why because it is good in strength as well as du uh, durability so it is uh, one of the main uh, like no behavior of hardened concrete of high performance concrete distinguishing right i'll repeat the most important property of high performance concrete distinguishing it from conventional concrete it is far higher superior uh, superior durability it is far higher superior durability and with very compacted material with a very low permeability it has a low permeability as well as high durability right right so durability is very good and it is one of the important property of high performance concrete in a hardened state so these are the some references we, which I use to prepare the my slides right one is MSAT book then high performance concrete of uh, some uh, online websites and these two websites I used to get some of the materials and even some part to continue to study about super plasticizers and all we use the MSAT book and even you can refer for more knowledge right so I think you understood thank you for watching my video